Okay, so we've been talking about the lip biopsy used as a diagnostic tool for uh, diagnosing Sjogren's disease. One individual dropped a comment that I wanted to showcase and then I wanted to talk about what I would do if I was in your situation. So follow along if you want to hear more. Also, if we haven't met, my name's Heather. I'm a chronic illness patient living with Sjogren's lupus and other conditions. I like to share my story and the resources that have helped me so that it can help you on your journey. Make sure to hit that follow button. So this individual says, my rheumatologist sent me to an ENT, ear, so that's ear, nose, throat doctor, for a lip biopsy. I waited months for the appointment and then the ENT refused to do the biopsy. Do I have advice? Yes, I do. Although it might not feel like it, I want to tell you that you're actually in a good place right now. And the reason for that is that this ENT knows that this is an invasive procedure. They might not have experience with it and they don't feel comfortable doing with it because of the nerve damage that can come along as a side effect um, if the procedure is not done correctly. I have very unfortunately heard from Sjogren's patients that have gotten a lip biopsy done by an ENT who didn't have experience that then lived with nerve damage and, and they have to live with that damage for the rest of their life. So just count your blessing, I guess, that this individual, this doctor knew that it was outside of his scope and he refused to do it for you. It's good. It's good. It's good that you didn't get it done by him. Now, what do you do instead? This is what I would do. The first thing I would do is reach out to the Sjogren's Foundation or the Sjogren's Society of Canada and get in touch with the support group leader that is closest geographically to you. I would then ask the support group leader if they have a, li a list of um, individuals of doctors in your area that can do this procedure and have feedback from other Sjogren's patients that it was a positive experience. Now, if you're outside of Canada or the US or you don't have a support group leader that's in your area, then the next thing that I would do is I would start looking and researching for surgical dentists in your city. So you're looking for a surgical dentist. This isn't going to be like your family GP. This is going to be the dentist that does uh, specialized care for individuals that get uh, injuries or infections or um, et cetera, et cetera. So once you have found some surgical dentists in your area, I would then call the office and ask if the surgical dentist has experience with this procedure or ask if you can have a phone consultation with them to discuss the procedure and whether or not they might be able to do it for you. I know it sucks that you have to like do the legwork for this, but to, to be honest, in my opinion, I wouldn't go forward with that procedure unless I knew it was being done by a dentist who uh, does surgeries and number two has experience with this one specifically. So that's just my two cents. Um, if anybody else in the Sjogren's community has advice for this individual, can you please drop it in the comments to help them out?